Okay, welcome back to Hototo in the morning. As, as you can see, I have with me a very distinguished guest, yeah? He's a very humble person, but I do know of his accomplishments. And uh, although he says he's really only just started on that big journey that he's taking, he has already accomplished a great deal. I introduce yeah. to you Baba Maria, Sita. who has been here in Trinidad and Tobago over the last six years, yeah. um, expanding on the Diwali Nagar theme on behalf of the National Council of Indian Culture. I'd like to welcome you so much to our country Thanks and very much. in advance to thank you for the service you're doing, uh, not only to the Hindu community, but yes. to the world at large through exposing more and more people to different facets of Hindu culture. All right. Yeah. So you're here in Trinidad for the sixth time. Yeah. And you know, Trinidadians always like to know what people think of their country yeah. <laughs> and the people. So we start with that question, yeah, yeah. to break the ice. Now, first I want to give to thank uh -huh. all communities because first time when I come in Trinidad, so that was my first abroad journey from India. Your first ever journey from India yeah, was to Trinidad? in, in 99. Okay. Uh -huh. Later on, uh, that time I seen and Trinidad looked like my India. It looks just like India. Yeah. Okay. And one thing more, nowadays I am looking at India, mm -hmm. but real India I can look in only villages, in little uh -huh. villages. In cosmopolitan city I can't see that type of India. Uh -huh. But when I come here, I got my old tradition. I got jhandis in every uh -huh. house. I got, I got same type puja. Uh -huh. I got the old tradition of Ram Lila. Okay. Because nowadays we have Ram Lila in India, but it is too commercialized. Oh, really? But in oh, Srinidad, okay. I see the old tradition. All person are playing ramen in, uh, in the villages, in the villages. And just in an open field. Yeah. And so, oh. yeah, and they are cooking like uh, old India. Uh -huh. So I, I feel every time I come, I am going in my history. Okay. I'm, uh, going when back I come in time. Trinidad, yeah. Uh -huh. When I come in Trinidad, I just go back in my time. Yeah. And I never feel I am outside of my country. Okay. Because I uh, listen one mantra, a uh -huh. Hindu mantra. Mata cha Parvati Pita Devo Maheshwara uh -huh. Bandhuva Shiv Bhaktanam Swadeshu Bhuvantrayan means Which the, means? It means Lord Shiva is my father and uh, Mata Parvati, she is my mother. Right. And all devotees uh, of uh, this word, of Shiva, all devotees, they are my uh, family member. Okay. And this whole word, it is uh, my Swadesh, it is my country, it is my village. Right. Exactly. Yeah. And I think that's the sort of belief that we need more and more, um, you know, for, for people to, 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 to come to because uh, too much people think of their countries separately. Yeah. I belong to Trinidad and Tobago. I yeah. belong to India. And that is causing separateness in the world. But now we have to think of the whole world as our country and, as you say, all people as our family. This is correct. But nowadays you see listening globalization. Yes. But there is some, they have different aspects. Yes. In Hindi, I can say, they think whole world is a bazaar. Whole world a bazaar, is a market. A market. Uh -huh. Whole world is a market. Uh -huh. like, uh, different countries, the Western countries, that this whole world is market. We want to make whole country, in, we want to put whole country in one place. All right. Why? They want to sell their money. So they're saying whole world is market, whole okay. world is bazaar. All but right. in India, we say whole world is a parivar. Family. Whole parivar world is a family. family. So we not think whole world is bazaar. Okay. I not came in Trinidad to sell my art. All right. You seen? I have too many art. People say, why you not sell your art? I not want to sell my art. Yes. I want to exhibit my art, and I want to say, what is India? Because yes. uh, I say little thing. Too many person in uh, I listen from too many person in Diwali Nagar. Uh -huh. They say in India people eat meat on Diwali day. People uh -huh. drink on Diwali day. Uh -huh. But this is not truth. Truly. Yeah, truly. This is not truth in India. If this happening in some part of India, in somewhere. That is not a percent. Uh -huh. People are devotee in India. They love vegetarian. Mm -hmm. But uh, everybody is saying they have confusion. So I think this was my government duty. This was yes. duty of my Indian government. They say this thing, this is not Indian tradition to meet at a Diwal day, to okay. drink um, at Diwal day. But India's government not done this duty. So I think I will do this duty. Because All right. I, am, I, am, I am not only artist. Sometimes I feel I am cultural ambassador at large, <laughs> appointed by Mother India. Okay. So that's why I am doing work. <laughs> yes, because it says you're actually telling us about the philosophy of Hinduism yeah. and India through your art. Yeah. And you work in multimedia. 
so mm. that you do several things in order to, to teach us about the philosophy yeah. and the thinking of India. So you're saying that you're here, it's your duty to clarify these <laughs> points that are so mixed up. I'm trying. You're trying to do that. Yeah. No, and I'm sure, I'm sure that it will work because once someone is motivated in a pure manner to do something, yeah. it must bear fruit somewhere along <laughs> the line. Okay? So, Thanks. you know, um, Baba, you're here, and mm. people have seen you moving about in the Diwali Nagar site and so. Mm. And you move about in a very humble manner, and mm. you know, sort of, uh, you don't look for people to notice you and things like that as you continue to do your work. Mm. But we know that you do great works. So perhaps what we'd like to do, so that the people can understand what we're talking about, is to go to um, a video clip. Yeah? Yeah. yeah, and I don't know which you think might be the best one. You intro Baba Hindi or indoor Deepak? Indoor Deepak. Indoor Deepak. So master control. It is a long clip, cue. but you can just forward it. So you can. Oh, did she say we have to do that last because it was rendering? I can't remember. <laughs> yeah. If we can get some feedback from master control as to whether or not we could go to indoor Deepak. Yeah. Or if we should go to something else. Five minutes. So should we go to? What we need five more minutes to render it. Okay, no problem. This okay, is, then we can. I can talk right. about that program. Okay. Because uh, I changed my life in different part. I was a painter before some time. Painter. Yeah, yes. I was painter before some time. I I am still painter too. I I'm know, still singer but too. yes. But before painter, I was singer. Singer before. Yeah, before that. singer, I was cartoonist. Cartoonist. Yeah. And before that, I was working for ZTV as a script writer. Okay. And that time I was uh, convener for of one program Jagran. In ZTV, Jagran. I uh -huh. created. Uh, what was that program, Jagran? Uh, discourses, spiritual discourses. Dis spiritual discourses. By different sadhus. Uh huh. And um, different sense of India. It is still running on ZTV in Trinidad also. Okay. Because uh -huh. I created that time 3,000 episodes. 3,000 episodes? episodes How long years. is each episode? <laughs> uh, half, uh, half hour. Half an hour? Half an hour. Oh, wow. 3,000 of that. Yeah. Uh -huh. So that time, I, um, that time uh, before some time, I done too many work. As a drum player, or different, different way. Okay. Before that time, I was thinking to become a sadhu. Yes. Okay. So uh, my life was changing in uh, after some time. Yes. That time I think uh, I need to do something for my culture. Yes. So I started this program, and uh -huh. this program only one program in world. I never seen this type of program. You seen or not? Okay. Uh, now painting. you said this program. Yeah. I'd like to explain to to people that when Baba says too much work. He doesn't mean too much work, you know, he means a lot of work, yeah? <laughs> and so when they say they afford women too much respect, women don't get upset, they don't mean you're getting too much respect, they mean you're getting a lot of respect. Lot of so we have to understand how the language is no, coming here. I know, <laughs> I can say one thing too. Uh -huh. First time when I came in 99, there was one interpreter, uh -huh. Pooja Gupta was with me. Okay. She came from India. Uh -huh. But that time I feel, if I speak by my mouth, yes. if I speak by my throat, Yes. It can uh, impress only your ears. Uh -huh. You can listen the voice by your ears. Right. But it, if I talk, uh, if I try to speak by my heart, uh -huh. it will touch to your heart. True. So by that way, uh, I never speak English in India uh -huh. because India's English is very good. I know it, I it, know. Was, it was British colony, but yeah. still nowadays I read in little village. Uh -huh. When little village, its name was Rajgarh Byawra. Uh -huh. In MP, nobody knows that place name. Madhya Pradesh. Madhya Pradesh. Uh -huh. Very little, uh, the um, smallest, uh, um, smallest district in S India. Okay. Mm -hmm. We have, we not have um, corporation there. We have gram panchayat, very little. Oh, panchayat and things. Panchayat still in on there. Because uh -huh. it is very little place. Uh -huh. In that place, we don't know English. I not care about English because yes. I never think I will go abroad. Okay. I never listen this name. So there was my exhibition in uh, Delhi. Mm -hmm. So um, one guy is from here, Ravi ji, uh -huh. and Dr. Vijayanarayan. Uh -huh. They seen that exhibition, and they told we want this exhibition in Trinidad. Uh -huh. So I was not uh, too much worried to come to Trinidad. To leave not India and go outside. Yeah. Uh -huh. Because I have too much work in India. Yes. But they don't. You sure come? I tell okay. Then I translated whole in English, uh, translated whole exhibition in English. Uh -huh. Some of my friend helped me. Yes. Uh, so I put that exhibition here, and first time I came here. And that, and that exhibition was, what was Vedas. the name? Vedas. The, the Vedas. Veda, Way of Light. Yes. So first exhibition was Veda. Then next exhibition I put on Understanding Hinduism. Okay. Then third exhibition on Child. All right. Uh -huh. yeah. Then I put one exhibition on Hindu Customs and Traditions. Yes. And this my exhibition on Viva. Okay. So every time I come here and when I come in Trinidad, that time I speak in English. Okay. Otherwise, I never speak in English in India. Uh -huh. 
so this is problem with me but i never feel any shame because you know everybody when he he, he when he live in his own family uh -huh. he never shy yes. to talk with his mother he never shy to talk with his uh, brother so in the same way when i come in trinidad i never shy i can talk with any brother look like my family if i am doing mistake no problem he will correct me <laughs> yes. this is not a question of my status right. i have no any status because whole trinidad is my family whole yeah. world is my family so i am not thinking in that way i am thinking right. this is my family if i am doing any mistake you will correct me exactly <laughs> because you too many time you speak hindi so you look to the kindness and the love in people yeah. yeah and you're not concerned at all about status and things like that you're more concerned about the work that you're doing and the purpose of your work yeah correct and this is what you believe all people should be like and i i always say there are too many person listening every day hindi music uh -huh. but they don't know what is the meaning of that music True. they reading ramayan yes. but they don't know what is the meaning of ramayan in the other words i say i i told too many person everybody is doing bhajan of ram uh -huh. but what is the ram and yes. what is the devotion of ram okay uh, if you not follow the um, life of ram yes then uh, we are not real devotee okay. in the same way when ram went in the jungle yes. there is one incident in the ram's life ram went in, went in the jungle exile when mm -hmm. he went to exile for 14 year mm -hmm. so on one place he saw too many skeleton oh he did a whole lot of skeletons right lot of skeleton they saw there and ask what is the who is this skeleton who kill them then some person told ravan's uh, ravan's Ravan. demons yes ravan's kill followers kill those people and why they kill these people to make a terrorism to what terrorism 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 uh -huh. he want to, everybody is scared by that so nobody can to speak be afraid about, of him yeah, afraid uh -huh. about him but when ram go go there they not afraid they not scared they say i will kill this ravan and, and he Give kill ravan strength. and he became god from men he became god in the same way in this time you are seeing all over the world bomb blasting kidnapping and everything in trinidad too yes and yeah. people are devo devotion of ram they are doing bhakti of ram this is not real bhakti if we not stand against the crime we are not devotee of ram oh there you go so now you understand a little more about the concept <laughs> of shri ram we're going to go to break and when we come back uh, more words of wisdom from baba maurya A first choice for everyone 50 plus. A first citizen's evergreen account. Open one. Get your card today and start living well. We invite you to join us every evening, Monday through Friday, from 6 to 6.30 p.m. for Fit for Life. Now for your added fitness. We will also be airing every Saturday morning from 8.30 a.m. to 9 a.m. Join us for the program designed with your fitness in mind. It's Fit for Life, Monday through Saturday. Duali from your friends at Gael the Channel. All right, well, we're back on Hotel Two can, in the yeah. morning. This, <laughs> okay, okay. this Diwali Monday, and uh, we're speaking with Baba Maria, who is down here in Trinidad and Tobago, um, on under the auspices of the National Council for Indian Culture, um, to. Um, display that exhibit on Vivaha Sanskar this year. But we're speaking a bit more about his work generally, as uh, Baba has done a, a great deal of work in India and continues to do so and hopes to grow from strength to strength. We're going to have a look now at a, a video clip um, from his file, Indoor Deepak. And uh, let's go to that, and then yes. afterwards we'll continue speaking with Baba. Get full back in here. Click double, click, yeah. click. Where's the fold back? Where is the one? No, 
અને હોય ધૈર્ય જાડ્યું start now okay so, so baba yes we having a little problem with the audio so perhaps you yes. can explain to us what's happening here yeah this this program is named bharat ma ki aarti aarti bharat ma ki aarti yes bharat ma ki aarti aarti of mother india devotion for mother india so in that program i sing and when i sing i paint to yes and all people dance and they enjoy which day i do the program that 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 day become diwali oh everybody okay. have the in hand and uh, that time i talk about humanity that time i talk about uh, hindu tradition what science behind the hindu hindu traditions that time i talk about the politician also that time i talk about different uh, aspects of the world and with uh, music yes. so this was uh, one was my dream yes and now it become <laughs> so this program then is it's, it's sort of um Yeah. It's really a reflection of you and yeah. uh, your thinking and yeah. you're saying that perhaps sadhus and so would normally preach in a in a traditional manner yeah. but you found that this way of putting these things together gets the people that come there really involved and they're involved in so many levels as you say they sing along with you they dance for sheer joy they hear something about their philosophy yeah. then you do the art and so so this really attracts them yeah and they feel proud Why they, they attract proud. too much with me? Yes. Because they feel proud. As I say something, there is too much confusion in word. Mm -hmm. uh, as the who invented the flight, the aeroplane. Uh huh. Who invented the aeroplane? Everybody whole world say first flight was in Raleigh. Uh huh. In America. Yes. But this is not truth. Uh huh. Uh, before uh, eight year before right. Uh huh. Eight year before right. Eight years before. Eight years before right. Uh -huh. In Bombay. One yes. person, his name was Shukar Bapu Talpade. Talpade. Uh huh. He, he fly, his uh -huh. flight, 800 feet higher. Ah. Uh -huh. Who invented the wireless? Uh huh. Everybody say um, one person Marconi from England he invented the wireless, but this is wrong. Sir J C Bose, Jagdish Chandra Bose from Bose, India. Uh huh. Everybody know now. Yes, now exactly. Now they recovering. Jagdish yeah. Chandra Bose invented the wireless. but we we don't know hindu people also don't know who in, what we done indian people also don't know zero invented by india this whole zero, new, zero. Yes, in america this system all minus. numerals yeah, yeah all numerals invented by india you said trigonometry yes this trigonometry it is not trigonometry it was trikonmiti oh trig it oh, invented it was invented by uh huh yeah explain that then yes it was trikonmiti right and it became and that trigonometry that means what trikonmiti trikonmiti the a uh, section of um, uh, maths aha uh -huh. trigonometry geometry right geometry you know geometry yes so same geometry this real word was geometry uh -huh. it came from india it okay. came from vedas aha uh -huh. but later on we was uh, undertaking of british person right so they not want to um, indian feel become proud proud yes. so they change our whole history Uh huh. Now they yeah, history. Yeah. Yeah, they've been doing that a lot. Yeah, because yeah. there are a lot of things also that would have started in Africa, for instance, yeah. and it's not accorded to the Africans. Correct. So that it's been going on in history throughout. So where this type too many things. Yes. The plastic surgery, uh -huh. the technique of plastic surgery in medical science, mm -hmm. it invented by India, uh -huh. and we have its facts in London. Yes. There is a book, uh, Gentleman Magazine. Uh -huh. In 1794 issue, if you see the 1794 issue, uh -huh. in that issue they have one picture, uh -huh. one picture that India's person, India, two doctor of India, two way they they done plastic surgery of one person. After that, Doctor Carpue, uh -huh. uh, he done research or oh, some more research and uh, he uh, done some more work in plastic surgery. But it invented from India. Okay. The missiles. Mm -hmm. The U.S. using missiles, China, Korea, and Japan. Everybody using missiles. But who invented the missile technique? Mm -hmm. India invented the missile technique. Okay. But this type too many things. We don't know what is in our history. history. Yeah. Sometimes we don't know what is behind our traditions. Yes. I put one exhibition in Trinidad. Yes. Uh, Hindu uh, science. Hindu science. Yeah. Uh huh. And this is my theme for five six year. Uh -huh. Hindu's contribution to world. 
what we have given to word what have given too many thing to us that is not we are we salute for that thing mm -hmm. too many thing which uh, western person in, invented mm -hmm. we salute because anybody he is doing research he is rishi yes we say rishi means says he is sadhu yes. yeah anybody he is doing research he is doing good work in, because we not say we are not bounded Yes. We are not bounded by any, we are not bounded by earth, we are not bounded by any boundary, we are free person. If anybody doing anything in his word, mm -hmm. he is a incarnation of God. Yes. He is incarnation of Ram, he is incarnation of Vishnu. We think, mm -hmm. by that way, um, we say, um, you know, Hindu people are not fundamentalist. Yes. All over, you see the problem. I not say At don't least feel the bad. true Hindu. It, yeah, true Hindu. Who is Correct. That true ideal. True ideal Hindu. There are others who yeah. are fundamentalists, but they are not true yeah. Hindus. Why? Because my forefather and my father told me, my granth, my books, mm -hmm. they told me, you are right, okay, but next next person he may be right. Also. Also, mm -hmm. I think my Ram is God, mm -hmm. but maybe um, Muhammad is God. I don't know. Yes. Maybe other person is right, many African person, he, be, he may be right. By that way, we, we have the freeness yeah. for thinking. And I think that is something that, that, that um, people misunderstand about yeah. Hindu thought and Hindu way of thinking. Because very often, in fact, they accuse us of being the opposite, of being narrow-minded. Yeah. That is because they do not understand how we think. We think very abstract, we think very open, the whole universe is open to us. We think at a, at a level beyond the body, beyond the material. Yeah. And very often I think many cultures cannot come to terms or to an understanding and an appreciation of that type of thinking. And so they try to negate it because they can't deal with it. Yeah. yeah? But as you say, we accept everything. Yeah, but and some problem everything. I am feeling in India also uh -huh. and in Trinidad also. What problem is uh, that? When I was in Diwali Nagar, yes. I am putting exhibition every time. Yes. Too many young people come to me and they ask, uh, who is the real God? Datta is real God, or that is real God, or Ram is real God, or Shankar. They are confused. Yes. And there are too many temples, too many sadhus. But nobody telling to people, they all are different forms of God. Well, God is one. This yeah. God is in a statue also. This same God is in you also. Yeah. In same God is in myself also. I am also. Because this only philosophy say God is not after seven heaven, after right. this sky. He is not separate from us. He is not separate from. Mm -hmm. I am God. The Hindu philosophy, first exhibition I put in here, named Veda. Mm -hmm. In that exhibition, I clear, clarify everything. That we say, I am Brahmasmi. I am God. But what is the difference in God and me? I am a little drop and he is the ocean. Yes. But there is no difference. If you take uh, water from any ocean, Atlantic Ocean, or you can take water from Caribbean Ocean, Caribbean Sea, and take it a little is, water from this bottle. It is water in All its over nature. H2O. No. Yeah, it is, it's, it's water in its nature. Yeah. Yes. This is difference. You are, you are Kailash Bedi and I am Baba Morya, and that is different person. And this is camera and this is from pot. But if we see by scientific eye, if we see by spiritual eye, there is no difference. Everything has electron, proton, neutron. True. <laughs> so difference of only why, eyes. That is why when, for instance, if we say in Hindu philosophy, yeah. everything is one. Where the plants, human beings, this yeah. wooden table, this metal thing, it's all one and the same. Correct. Nothing can exist outside of God. And they say, they think, well, how stupid, how can you say water is the same as the metal, as the wood, as you, you know? Yeah. And they always want to put human beings above everything else, yeah. you know, that exists on the material plane. And it isn't. It's just different, you know, in terms of its composite nature, but it's essentially the same as everything else. Same. And because they cannot grasp this idea, they mock at it. Yeah, now but by the same by the same subject, we can come to our exhibition. Uh -huh. That uh, Viva, I put one frame. Uh -huh. uh, half ladies and half gents. Yes. One God, yes. Shiva. Half ladies right, and half right, gents. Right. In that picture, I shown uh, Ardha Narishwar. Yes. Okay. This is the concept of India. Too many people say uh, there is not equality uh, in between India men between women. men and women. Mm -hmm. But I can say one thing. We we know from inside everything is same. Same electron proton in ladies and same electron proton in uh, men. men. Mm -hmm. But uh, we say one thing, uh, by the form of the body, mm -hmm. we have some different. Yes. Ladies have some different type uh, body, but we have some different type body. the function. Yeah. yeah. And something more, mm -hmm. uh, something men can do easily. Men uh -huh. can do proper. Yeah. And something women can do proper. Yes. I can I can't make roti proper, but <laughs> ladies can make roti proper. Ladies can take about uh, take care about anybody. Uh -huh. Ladies have much love 
yes. and people have much power. Mm -hmm. So these are different different uh, aspects uh, of ladies and gents. Mm -hmm. We not say they are equal because right. this science science not say they are equal. If you science cut your science proves that men and women are, are different, fact not equal. Not equal. If and you take the chromosome, different. yes. If you take the um, cells of one ladies yes. and you if you take the one cells of gents yes. and if you cut it. Yeah. So in ladies you can see both side uh, 24, 24 chromosome and if you come gents uh, cell one side 24 and one side 23 chromosome. Ah, okay. It is a very big difference. You can change the gender that is different thing. Yes. But you can't make them equal. They are never equal. It is not a question of he is secondary or he is uh, no. first. Yeah. We have all type devta. And one thing more I can say about Hinduism, people say too many times about India and there are women, status of women is not in good in India. Hmm. But I said this is not right. We make one ladies to prime minister. Exactly. US say we are giving too much equality to ladies but they not make any prime minister or yeah. they not make any ladies president. They in Trinidad, yeah, quality, in Trinidad, in Trinidad it. there is no ladies president. Yeah. And if they are, uh, if well, they we are had equal, an ladies no, once. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, but I can say, if they are equal, if USA they are equal, why not 50 percent ladies in uh, US um, uh, assembly? Truly. Mm -hmm. Because I know ladies not want to go in that way, not want to go in that way. Ladies a ocean of love. Mm -hmm. Gents is ocean up, do something, do the same, do something. So they are different. So we give one different, different work to different, different uh, that. Mm -hmm. uh, we are not against that. Ladies not do, why not do ladies do work? Ladies are doing work in India. But to me, people always they uh, curse to Indian community. They say they burn uh, ladies, but there is no any percentage of burning. Uh -huh. In India, you can see uh, in 50 year, mm -hmm. 50 year after independence, mm -hmm. how many. Um, uh, cases of sati, you know the sati, yes, the burning ladies yeah, after the yeah, after the husband has died. Correct. Mm -hmm. But what is percent? You can explain this thing easily. What that one 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 Arab population, hundred uh, hundred crores uh -huh. means uh, hundred crores means uh, hundred. one one billion uh -huh. one bin, billion population of India uh -huh. and only ten or fifteen cases happen in fifty years. What is the percent? Okay, <laughs> it doesn't even form they, one percent. They want, they want to close up that this thing happened there, this is India. No, this is not India, my India is great and our India is great, our culture is great. But some people they find only this is uh, some bad thing happening, they put that camera Focus on, on it. Focus yes. on it, yes. Well that is when as again, as again as I keep saying, you want to destroy something, you keep on accentuating only the bad aspects of it yeah. and convince the rest of the world that this is the nature of that thing. But thank goodness we know that uh, as you say India is great there are many great minds in India yeah. and given modern technology and the ability yeah. of Indians to adapt rapidly um, and that they are going to be able to show the world what is in fact the true mind and heart of India yeah so all will be revealed in time Satya Meva Jayate <laughs> okay we're going to go to break now and we come back even more Honey, could you please bring me some more? The touch of Carnation makes it perfect. Because nothing makes your desserts taste better than Carnation. Carnation makes it perfect. A new cleaner comes to the Gael. Every weekday, join Rosie in the kitchen as she washes and wears. Yeah, right. Rosie, weekdays in the Gael exclusively from 6.30 p.m. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, um, as we can see, Baba is indeed very, very passionate about his work. Yeah. And um, this is what you need people who really believe in what they're doing. Yeah. And um, God has given you the opportunity in 1999 to go. You know, <laughs> Trinidad is very special, Baba, because a lot of people came from India to Trinidad and a seed was planted here where we kept certain traditions and rituals alive, yeah, albeit yeah. that we didn't, some, most of us didn't really understand yeah. exactly what it meant but this we knew in our hearts that it was important to keep it alive and keep it going yes. for a future date 
And so we find that Trinidad now has been able to sort of feed again Indian population with certain things that even in India they have forgotten, or certain Indians in the diaspora who have lost touch with their history. Yes. Somehow when they come to Trinidad and they see what's been happening here but, and but things uh, that have been kept alive. Kailash, uh -huh. You told me uh, Trinidad will fit to India. Why Trinidad not fit to Trinidad? Trinidad will what? Why Trinidad feed, not oh, fit to Trinidad? To Trinidad. Yeah. Okay. Listen. Yeah. I know the mistake of Indian government. Yes. Sometimes I say India is a very brilliant country. Yes. But with corrupt bureaucrat, bureaucrats. Okay. With corrupt politician. But yes. India is a great. I feel proud with India. But I can say uh, which image you are seeing in different books or by media, uh -huh. India's image, it is not true image. Okay. In the same way, which image I am seeing at Trinidad. Yes. I am watching Trinidad image. It is also not Trinidad image. Oh, when okay. I come here, Diwali is too vast festival, very big festival in Trinidad. But I never seen this type of festival, this type of pictures in Trinidad uh, brochure. Oh. I never seen in uh, tourism. 50% population, about uh, more about 50%, 40-50% mm -hmm. mm -hmm. population is here. In India, we have only 20%, 15% Muslim. Uh -huh. But when we present India, if we put one temple, we sure put one mosque. Uh -huh. If we put Diwali, we sure put Eid. We sure put a few population of Christianity in India, mm -hmm. but we sure put one picture of church also. Mm -hmm. We respect all community and we present all community. Mm -hmm. But Trinidad government, he never present India. I never seen in TV, I never seen in uh, uh, websites. I open so many websites, I never seen single word of Diwali, only little bit few, and something in Diwali in little corner. No, Diwali is very big festival. The Indian dress is very big thing. Mm -hmm. But I never seen Indian face. When you always, I am not saying, I say black and white, all are my brother, because I say whole world is my family, Vasudev Kutumbukam. Mm -hmm. But Vasudev. if you put that person, why you not put a white person also? Why you not put a Chinese person also? And why you not put Indian person, why you not present India uh, in West Indian? Yes. Yeah. So it I is know. West Indian, but uh, there is no Indian in West Indian. In presentation, <laughs> I see all over um, Indian people, are all good Diwali. Yes. And one thing, uh, some say, something I say good. Here, Trinidad government celebrate Diwali, Prime Minister celebrate Diwali, President celebrate Diwali, everybody celebrate, banks celebrate Diwali. But in India, they are very secular. Very secular. Very secular, very, very secular. <laughs> they not celebrate Diwali. No. Government not say They can celebrate Eid uh -huh. because they want vote. They are politicians. They want politician. votes. <laughs> they want votes. So uh -huh. They celebrate Eid, but they not celebrate Diwali. But facts are coming. Uh -huh. um, I, when I come here, why I like Trinidad too much? Because uh, <laughs> you, yeah. uh, you all are my brother, sister, yeah. and I, I feel I, I go to my, I find my old India, I find my real India. So from India, I come here to find my real India, find my Hindu India. Yes. When I come here, I feel I am my Hindu India. So I come here again <laughs> <laughs> by that way. Yeah. So these are some different things with all over all countries. Yes. I know corruption. There is also corruption. I am not hiding anything. Yes. Too much corruption in India also. And too much corruption in Trinidad also. Mm. This is, this is all real. All over the world. It's all over the world. Is. This is some problem with all over the world. Yeah. Crime in India also. And crime in Trinidad also. And why crime coming in society? Mm. I can say to, I can uh, say everything, everybody. I want to say something to everybody of Trinidad. If you want to stop crime, so you can do one thing. If one person is hitting by another person, just stand up there. Don't feel he is killing, he is, uh, he is in trouble. Just feel for one moment, I am in trouble. If you not speak for other person, nobody will speak for you. Okay, wait, no, I don't understand. Say that again. Uh, if you if are we want to stop crime, yeah. how do we go just about it? Come, just come in market and say against crime. Okay. Understand? Uh -huh. If I see, if anybody killing to you, and if I say, I will not, I scared, I will not come, I will not save you. Come forward. Uh -huh. yeah, I will not come forward. Mm -hmm. And I just, I, I make myself, I, I yes. save myself. To protect yourself so alone. You're being myself. selfish. Yes. Okay. So then what happened? One then day you will kill. Next day I will kill. Next person say, oh, he is killing. Don't worry. Yes. I, I protect myself. Yes. No. Protect other person also. So we uh -huh. have one, we have one praise in India. You listen. Om Dio Shanti Antrik Shanti Apa Shanti Oshdaya Shanti Vanaspatiya uh -huh. Shanti means save environment, save the trees, save the air, save the water. Why? This is our philosophy. Yes. This is our mantra. What is the means? Why we save water? 
<laughs> if we not if save we, water, okay, we, water we will not save us. us. Exactly. If we not save air, air will not save us. Exactly. If we not save next body, next body will not save me. Yes. So if we want to save ourselves, just then do some work for by next person. Exactly. By that way, when we pray of God, one very good chopai in India, we not say God is uh, anywhere, God is in ourself. We say, Siyar Ram Mai Sabjag Jani, Karahu Pranam Jorjuk Pani, in singing way, Siyar Ram Mai Sabjag Jani, Karahu Pranam Jorjuk Pani. This whole word, everybody is a form of Siyar Ram. If I see you are Kailash, then different thing. But if I see you are Siyaram, so Tulsida say, whole word is Siyaram, and I salute whole word by so going So if you see each person as God, yeah. then you will treat them with that sort of respect no and crime. reverence, and then you wouldn't hurt somebody, you wouldn't steal from them, you wouldn't anything. Yes. And that's an essential philosophy. You know, one thing more, uh, this is the root of crime. Yes. Where is the root of crime? Uh, from Ladian or from different person, from Daud or from any, any terrorist. What he, what he want? He want whole world become Muslim. They want. Christians say whole world become Christian, so they are converting here also and converting in different countries also. They are changing the name and everything. Because they, they think God is one. Okay? God is one. Every community say God is one. We also say God is one. But we say you can give any name to that God. Yeah. I say God is one. I can say the God is Ram. So same way I can say I can say because I am Hindu I can say God be, God be, his God is a, God is also name of same God. Yes. The God is yeah. name of same God. It, God is the name of the same God. Yeah. And Ram the, is God. Yeah, Allah, Allah is, name is of, God. Allah is name of same God. Yes. Yes. Devi is name of same God. Yes. If this type Christian people think if in this same way Muslim people think uh, Ram is the name of uh, their Allah. Yes. Devi is name of their but Allah. But they don't. It, yeah, I no. know this is problem and nobody can say truth. Yes. Nobody can say, I know in Trinidad there are too many sadhus, yes. but they are not speaking this way. In India, I have too many sadhus, but they are not speaking this way. By that way, I say, I can say something to, here's Muslim and Christian, everybody, I can say something. There is one prayer, Raghupati Raghav Raja Ram, yeah. Patit Pawan Sita Naam, Ishwar Allah Tere Naam. Yes. Ishwar or Allah, the same name of same God. Yes. Because no, no, there is no indifference in Muslim and me. I have some atoms. I am creation of atoms. I have right. electron, proton, neutron. And same type of Muslim person have electron, proton, neutron. Yes. He have same blood. I have same blood. Mm -hmm. He have same type bone. I have same type bone. Everything is same. What is different? Only the difference of faith. So why difference we, of faith? Faith. Faith. Okay. Uh -huh. Difference of faith. Yeah. If we give uh, some respect to another faith, then no crime problem. in the world. No exactly. problem in the world. Yeah. So this type of thing. But what happened? Hindu, they always pray. Ishwar Allah Tere Naam. They always pray. But I never listen this type any pray in any mosque. Yeah. I never listen this type any pray in any church. Yes. In whole world. Yes. Why they not sing? We are singing. Oh brother, I, I say you. We, if we say, if we sing this type pray all over the world, mm -hmm. I say there is no any rights. <laughs> there is no any rights. So the es es essence of uh, Hinduism, you know, is not separatist, it's unifying, yeah. it's not saying uh, some people are higher than others, it's in fact saying all people are equal but different. Yeah. And as you're saying, it's perhaps the only religion that has been saying this openly yeah. uh, for hundreds and thousands of years, yeah? yeah? Yet still, people will accuse us of being the exact opposite. What could be the motive? One thing, what one, is going one, on? One thing you know? more. As if I don't know. One thing, yeah. What is the basic essence of Hinduism? Uh -huh. I can say you, we have different incarnation. Yes. Because something, today this bottle we place here, it is okay for this time. Mm -hmm. But uh, for tomorrow, I may be not sure this is okay here or not. Understand? Mm -hmm. We can change our customs uh, after some time. Yes. We can change our custom as we want. Yes. Okay? Something is good in Trinidad. Yes. But same thing is not good in uh, Another, Tibet. Right. Same thing is not good in USA. Yes. As in India, every day I take bath. I, every day I take shower. Yes. If I go in Tibet and I think every day I take shower by um, cold water, oh, I will die. You uh -huh. understand? Yes. So when I reach in Tibet, I change my tradition. Habits. Yeah. Habits. I, I can take warm uh, hot water right. for, uh, for shower. Yes. Okay. So I can change my um, habits. attitude, yes. habits. I can change. In the same way, uh, when we go anywhere, we just uh, need to change our food custom. We change to our language. As I know, my language is Hindi. 
but I I am trying to speak English. Exactly. I never think I say English is also my language. So what happen in all world every time when time will change, we should change our attitude also. Yes. So in India we change our attitude. You know the uh, life of Ram, life was Ram is too humble and mm -hmm. too characterized, too bounded life. But Krishna's life is totally different life. Yes. Ram say once Ravan was injured, so Ram. Ramon was near about killing, uh -huh. near about dying. dying. <laughs> so Ram said, I will not uh, give next bow arrow to him. Yes. I will not bow any arrow on will, him. Yeah. But what happened when Krishna came? So one story in uh, Mahabharat, uh, Karna was uh, feeling problem with his chariot. So he came down. So Krishna told Arjun, just kill him. Uh, Arjun said, this is not dharma. This is not right way. When he come on the chariot, that time I will kill. Krishna said, don't go in that way. Because he is not honest person. He is not what? Honest, honest, honest person. person. Ah. If you do honesty with honest person, that is good. Yes, but if honesty with a person who is being devious, yeah. which is what is happening so a lot. Krishna in the changed world. the rule. Yes. And in the same way, our too many incarnations that change rule every time. So if we okay. change the rule, then it is good. And which thing our uh, sex given to us, it is not end. In Hinduism, we say neti neti. This is not end. This is not end. Maybe in future, um, we will see different Hinduism. Okay. All right. I'm struggling here to make sure I understand exactly what Baba is saying, as I'm sure you are. But when you do catch it, you understand that he is saying a great deal. Uh, we're going to go to break now because we have to give you the news headlines at the top of the hour. And when we come back, uh, we have some pictures to show you of Baba in different parts of India, going to the most rural of tribes and communities and um, relating with them. <laughs> Brace yourself, it's time for R&R. &R. Roger will rob your blind and Roscoe can sell wind. You know I was shift supervisor, sanitation engineer now. But you wasn't shift supervisor, you yeah, was a bloomin' the... cleaner. Serious humor on snacks, weekdays at 4.30 p.m. in the Gael. Join Jasso and his new co-host Ayana Leonard for the new season of Markowell Time, Monday to Friday at 12.30 p.m. Movies you'll see nowhere else but on Gael. Movies from the Caribbean and from parts of the world we don't see. Movies that touch our experience and our lives. Classic Caribbean movies like Harder They Come or Last Supper stand alongside movies from Africa, the East and Latin America. Enter the world through Gael Movie Night and never be the same again. Thursday nights at 8.30. Can you read music? Do you want to learn? Then join Louis Ness and Panis Bruce Roberts in the comfort of your own home. This is an opportunity for us to work together. And learn to read, write and understand music using pan, voice, keyboard, recorder or guitar. These lessons will be aired exclusively on Girl the Channel starting this Saturday and continuing every Saturday morning at 10 a.m. Learning with Louis, sponsored by the Clico Investment Bank. Caribbean Fashion Weekly, the Caribbean's premier fashion event is here in the Gael. Join us as we go behind the scenes to meet the designers, magazine editors, models, and all the support staff who go into making this annual event a success. Every Thursday at 8 p.m. with a repeat on Saturday at 8 p.m. Caribbean Fashion Weekly, exclusively on Gael the Channel. The Gal News Network News Update, brought to you by American Stores. Well, good morning again. I'm Paolo Kuhn, with your news update. 
Heron Gael. Kidnapped victim Nigel Dindial was released over the weekend. Dindial remained in the hands of his kidnappers for an estimated four weeks. The family has issued a release thanking members of the anti-kidnapping squad and the police. Listed for special mention was an organization called the Private Intelligence Agency for the work it had done with the anti-kidnapping squad. The family indicates that negotiations were done by both the private company and the anti-kidnapping squad. We have been told that the well a ransom was paid uh, to the tune of approximately $138,000. A fire in South Trinidad over the weekend has left 10 people homeless. Preliminary investigations suggested that the blaze was triggered by children playing with a lit candle beneath the two-story house in Santa Flora. Lennon Guevara and his nine relatives found themselves searching for shelter last evening as the blaze made quick work of the structure in Jacob's settlement. Occupants of the house made a desperate attempt to put the blaze out but were forced to flee the heat with only the clothes on their backs. No one was hurt in the incident. Scenes from the Wild West took to the stage at the Queen's Hall over the weekend at the Lord Nelson Tribute Show. According to the reports, as the show went on, the attention of the patrons was drawn to the area just behind the VIP section, where two police officers were wrestling with each other. Eyewitness accounts indicate that an officer on security detail went to calm the rancorous behavior of another off-duty CID policeman about whom several patrons were complaining. The plainclothes police officer reportedly then introduced his revolver into the conversation. A struggle followed and with the intervention of two other patrons, the man was pinned to the ground. The incident reportedly ended with the man simply reholstering his weapon and walking out of the hall. The incident stalled the show for some time. Some patrons were complaining that the officer who had drawn his firearm ought to have been arrested on the spot. The matter was reported to the Belmont Police Station. Well, just before we go to our international news, uh, you may have missed this earlier on, so I thought I'd give you another opportunity to see it last week, Friday. Of course, many of you may have felt that earthquake we certainly did here in Gael. It was a 5.0 registered at the Seismic Research Unit. We had a cameraman out at the uh, Hazley Crawford Stadium who was shooting a football game at the time. And at that game, you can, well, in the videotape, you can clearly hear the stands rattling like coins in a can. So let's take a look at that video. Well, the cameraman uh, left to the stands after that. Uh, you know, during carnival time, before horses are taken out onto the streets, uh, they undergo a series of training exercises, uh, banging pots near to their ears. That is done to drive the fear out of the horses. That cameraman is going to be subjected to that exercise. And in some international news now, New York City has many odors, but when the city began to smell a little too good, New Yorkers became alarmed. Residents from the southern tip of Manhattan to the Upper West Side, nearly 10 miles north, called a city hotline to report a strong odor that most compared to maple syrup. The New York Times reported that there were so many calls that the city's Office of Emergency Management coordinated efforts with the police and fire departments, the Coast Guard and the City Department of Environmental Protection to find the source of the mysterious smell. Air tests haven't turned up anything harmful, but the source was still a mystery. We're continuing to sample the air throughout the affected area to make sure that there's nothing hazardous, said Jared Bernstein, an emergency management spokesperson. What the actual cause of the smell is, we really don't know. Although many compared the smell to maple syrup, others said it reminded them of vanilla coffee or freshly baked cake. All seemed to agree that it was a welcome change from the usual city smells. Well, you know, if they panicked about the city smelling good, can you imagine what it smells like normally? I'll be back in the next hour with more news. Stay tuned to Gael. The Gael News Network News Update brought to you by American Stores. You know, Diwali is just around the corner. And Eid too. And it's a double celebration sale at American stores. Now's the time to get that living room set up been eyeing. Now's the time. Take 15%. I remember we always tell you, huh? Go easy on our models, necks and things. Right? I don't want it very tight, <laughs> he, he so this is nice fine and, here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do a big plait. A huge plait. Yes. Okay. Just like school days, Priya. But this is just for my base underneath because I really want base. this to hide. Yes. Okay.
So I'm gonna wrap this and I'll show you quickly after. Let me get um a couple. <laughs> May I assist? Yes. Here pins, right? Yes. Oh, they're very tiny. How about five minutes? You got Just three about. minutes. Come on, count down, people. <laughs> I really have to get an award for this. <laughs> <laughs> So what we've done is get a pack of braids and just do them in three plaits. Right. And I'm going to go from the underneath so you don't see where it Let's starts. Go from the underneath, right. So you pin this up underneath. I'll turn to the side so people can see. See. And what you Oops. do, you have to, really pin, have it to pin it tighter. And no, you just bring it around. Okay, just So you can pin the top. Right. And you work your hair around this so it really looks nice oh, and full. I see. Okay. Ah, so your I own natural see. hair would act as as the base, yes. the mold, and okay, there you go. Doing well. Oh, so it looks really nice and perfect. Have another one here. We have three more um, um pins. <laughs> That's fine. I have some more. We really put him to the test today, boy. He's speeding up like anything. <laughs> <laughs> this is so nerve-wracking. But nerve it's not, I guess I, I, I can manage under stress well. Well, not stress, but short timing. Okay. Let's see how and the MC has just gone on stage and is about to introduce Miss <laughs> Priya on, on, <laughs> on air, on stage. I have one more pin front up here. On the makeup artist.